welcome to Perfect Grass. Uh, just going to shoot a quick video about this season's uh, different products, uh, artificial grass um, styles, uh, fibres, uh, what you should look for, uh, and just give you a general insight in, into uh, the products that we uh, install day in, day out. Okay, so uh, we don't get involved in anything cheap. Uh, we're predominantly an installation company, so we fit artificial grass day in, day out. Uh, it's not always what it looks like. Obviously, that's the most important part of it, but um, it's about how it joins, how it fits, how it brushes, uh, how it weathers, um, how hot it gets, um, how it works with pets, dogs, um, etc. Uh, and generally what you're looking for the product to use for. So we only have a small range. Uh, I could have 10 different products, but we'd probably only sell three or four of them. Uh, generally on the uh, color uh, range of green, you get a central color, which is pretty good. Um, when you start varying from that, it ends up going too dark or too bright. Uh, I think we've all seen those luminous front gardens, um, which look generally appalling. Okay, so these are European manufactured. What does that mean? Uh, it means they are made to the same sort of standard we would make something to in this country. Uh, a, a, a unified um, barometer of quality. Um, whereas a high percentage of the market still is imported from China. Uh, we've all been there. Poor quality products, badly put together. Uh, very bad for the environment. They break up quite easily, plastic wise. Um, and they generally look pretty naff, to be honest with you. So let me talk you through it. Um, we are going completely recyclable. What does that mean? It means the product can be split. So generally before the quality of the products was good, but they had two different plastics involved, like this one here, um, a black backing, which is polyurethane, and the fiber will be polypropylene. Whereas a product like this is now made entirely of polypropylene, meaning when it comes to the end of its life, it can be bailed up, sent back to the manufacturing plant and granulized and upcycled. Um, the idea being is we won't be uh, putting stuff in landfill. We, we really are trying our best not to use uh, our skips or put anything in landfill uh, unless, pro uh, and, unless uh, you know, it's impossible. We've got nowhere else to put it. We always try and find homes for old bits of grass. Um, rescue centres for animals are always very, very welcoming when we uh, turn up with a, a van load of uh, offcuts for them. So here we go. Let me talk you through it. This is the only product we are selling at the moment that is not recyclable. Uh, this is a meadow grass. Uh, it's got quite an abrasive fibre to it. However, it's very durable. Uh, it has kinks in the fibre, obviously the token brown infill. Uh, it's, it's a good product. We generally put this down when kids are playing football uh, or in schools, that sort of thing. It's a 30 mil fibre, um, 30 mil depth. And it's retailing for 24.95, including that. Then we move up. This year we have got 335s in. Uh, one of them's available in a 30 as well. This is our product, the Null. Very, very soft, nice and dense, slightly darker on the coloration. Uh, again, recyclable, 100% recyclable. Um, very good for animals. All these, all, all these uh, products are good for animals. What does it mean? It means it's sealed, the, the, the backing sealed, so nothing can be absorbed into it. The general, the smell you get from artificial grass with dogs is when the urine's absorbed into the latex backing, you cannot extract that. It doesn't matter what you put on it, how many times you clean it, um, you won't get that out. Whereas these are completely sealed, uh, absorbs no urine, so it can be cleaned off um, and brought back to how you, 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 you had it when you purchased it. Uh, obviously it does take a bit more work in the summer months, but you know, you can put cleaners on it, disinfectants on it, all diluted, wash it through. Um, so here we go. So we've got three 35s. That's got twists in the fibre. It's a nice twisted gnarled fibre, which gives a, a, a less uniform look. It's a 35 mil. It's very, very soft. Again, fully recyclable, good with animals. That one's called the Heath. And this one's been our best seller for the last three or four years. This year we've made it a 35. 
made it fully recyclable. However, same fibers, very, very soft. Everyone still loves a soft product. Very, very soft to, to, to touch. No abrasions on there whatsoever. That's called the Spring 35. So we kind of hope that we touch base. Uh, there are some other good products out there, but hey, you know, we can only, uh, only stock a certain amount. Um, I'm happy with my products. I love every single one of them, the way they fit. You know, we never shy away from putting long joins in because the products doesn't join very well. We've had those products in the past and we no longer stock them. Why would we stock them? We're not gonna get paid if the joins aren't, aren't in properly. So there we go. However, it's not always about the artificial grass. It's, it's, it's how it's fitted. You can't be good quality groundworks to fit that product on. Any more uh, details, anything you need, give us a call uh, on uh, 07930 904 861.